Hi, I'm Ezequiel Bucay. I'm the CEO of Wibon. Wibon, it's a buy now, pay later with interest in Latin America. We give credit to people that never have access to the formal financial system to pay things at premium e-commerce like Samsung, Lenovo, Motorola or Digital House to buy things like cell phones, motorcycles or a tennis racket. We gave more than 4,000 credits with $3 million on GMB in 12 months. Now we have 400 active partners and we doubled the revenue. Yes, we doubled the revenue in the last three months. 28K on July and 63K on October. So what is the problem that we are trying to solve here? 85%, 85% of the population in Latin America don't have credit card. And the only way that they have to finance their purchases is to pay extremely, extremely high interest rate to informal financial lenders. The consequence is the decrease up to 25% of different e-commerce, of different stores, of different merchants, because they don't have access to this, to this market. The solution is a platform to buy now, pay later, different items at the checkout of premium e-commerce. How can we do that? with open finance scoring. The user gives us information on real time that the bank doesn't have access. With that information, we can score on real time and give to the user the, the possibility to pay, to split the payments with an, with an APR, with an interest rate as low as 0%. With that, we give the possibility to the merchants to acquire new users and increase the conversion rate, the sales, up to 15%. So what, what is the, pro, the, the product, how the products work? For example, if you want to buy a cell phone, you enter to samsung.com, you select your cell phone, and at the checkout, you select Webon as a payment method. There, you, there, the user has to take a photo of the ID, a selfie, and with that information, only with that information, we score on real time. The user can select up to 12 installments, six, nine, or 12 installments, to pay the, their cell phone. We, we won't pay up front to Samsung. Samsung delivers the, the cell phone and then we collect installments month by month to the user. So what's our business model? We charge a 12% commission rate to the user. We have a $700 average ticket and with that per user per transaction it's $84. In every tra transaction the revenue is $84. US dollars. And the market, the most important thing is the market in Latin America is very big. 200 million people in Latin America has the same problem. 200 million people. Our goal is to have 1 million users in one year. How we, are, we acquire users? With premium merchants. Samsung, Lenovo, Motorola or Digital House are part of our network of e-commerce where the user can buy different products or services. For the merchant, it's very easy, it's very easy to integrate Webon as a payment method. It's only one click to add Webon at the, at the checkout. Why? Because we have integration with Tienda Nube, Vitex, WooCommerce or, Mag or Magento 2. We are growing super fast, we are growing super, super fast. We doubled the revenue in the last two months and we, in January we are going to pass the 100k per month. The most important he thing here is that we are growing super fast but with very healthy risk rate, below 6% of delayed rate and 0.39% of the of default rate. So we are growing, we have product market fit and with healthy risk in this lending model. The buy now pay later industry, it's growing super fast. There is a global validation in Europe and the, in the US and it's a, wise, a, 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 sweet spot, a sweet spot in Latin America with some proof of concept. With Alejandro Silvestre, my business partner, we created ClickyPass three years ago. We grew from zero to 3,000 different gyms in Latin America, in Argentina, Chile, and Mexico, and then we exit the company to ClassPass, the world leader fitness aggregator. With this 30 people team, we are going to close the financial gap in Latin America. We just closed our seed round of $2 million Y Combinator is one of our investors, and now we are trying to raise $15 million on a Series A. Thank you, and please join us.